a condition known as hepatic steatosis is another name for fatty liver. It is a common condition that is brought on by having an, an excessive accumulation of fat in the liver. Your kidneys are the largest organ in your body, but your liver is the second largest. It does this by assisting in the digestion of nutrients derived from food and drink, and by filtering potentially harmful substances from the blood. A normal amount of fat is found in a liver that is in good health. When it reaches between 5 and 10% of the weight of your liver, it starts to become a problem. When there is an excess of fat in the liver, inflammation can result. This inflammation can cause damage to the liver as well as scarring. In extreme instances, this scarring can result in the failure of the liver. Type of fatty liver disease. 1. Alcoholic fatty liver disease, AFLD. Heavy drinking is the primary factor in the development of alcohol-induced fatty liver disease. Drinking in moderation is considered to be one alcoholic beverage per day for women and anywhere from one to two alcoholic beverages per day for men. This particular form of liver disease affects approximately 5% of the population in the United States. The earliest stage of alcohol-related liver disease is called alcoholic fatty liver disease. The condition is referred to as simple alcoholic fatty liver when there is no inflammation or any other complications present. One subtype of alcoholic-induced fatty liver disease is known as alcoholic steatohepatitis. Alcoholic hepatitis is another name for this condition, which describes the condition that occurs when a buildup of excess fat in the liver is accompanied by inflammation. If your liver is inflamed, you have excess fat in your liver, and you drink a lot of alcohol, your doctor may diagnose you with alcoholic steatohepatitis. Alcoholic steatohepatitis, ASH, can lead to fibrosis of the liver if the condition is not properly treated. Cirrhosis or severe scarring of the liver can eventually result in liver failure. 2. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD. People who don't consume large amounts of alcohol can develop a condition called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. In the United States, the condition affects 1 in 3 adults and 1 in 10 children. There are a number of things that can put you at an increased risk, such as being overweight or having diabetes. It is possible to be diagnosed with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease if you do not have a history of heavy alcohol use, but do have an excess of fat in your liver. The condition is referred to as simple non-alcoholic fatty liver disease if there are no inflammatory symptoms or other complications present. One subtype of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is known as non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. It occurs when inflammation occurs concurrently with the accumulation of excessive fat in the liver. If you have an inflamed liver, excess fat in your liver, and no history of heavy alcohol use, your doctor may diagnose you with non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. It can lead to liver fibrosis if the condition is not treated. Cirrhosis and eventual liver failure may develop in extreme cases of this condition. 3. Acute fatty liver of pregnancy, AFLP. The condition known as acute fatty liver of pregnancy occurs when there is an abnormal accumulation of fat in the liver during pregnancy. It's an uncommon but potentially life-threatening complication of pregnancy. The precise cause is unknown. However, there is a possibility that it is genetic. Acute fatty liver of pregnancy typically manifests itself during the woman's third trimester of pregnancy when it does occur. If it is not treated, there is a significant risk to both mother and the child's health. In the event that your physician suspects acute fatty liver of pregnancy, they will encourage you to give birth as quickly as possible. It is possible that you will require follow-up care for a period of several days after you have given birth. It should not take more than a few weeks for your liver's health to return to normal after you have given birth. Symptoms Doctors occasionally refer to fatty liver disease as a silent illness. This is due to the possibility that, despite the disease's progression, a person may not exhibit any symptoms. Four stages can be experienced by fatty liver. 1. Simple fatty liver The liver has accumulated an excessive amount of fat. If it doesn't worsen, simple fatty liver is generally safe. 2. Steatohepatitis Inflammation in the liver is present in addition to extra fat. 3. Fibrosis Scarring has now developed in the liver as a result of ongoing inflammation. The liver can still generally perform normally, though. 4. Cirrhosis The liver's ability to function is hampered by widespread liver scarring. This is the most serious stage and it cannot be reversed. 
alcohol-induced fatty liver disease and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease both exhibit similar symptoms. However, fatty liver frequently goes unnoticed without any symptoms. However, you might feel exhausted or have pain or discomfort in the upper right side of your abdomen. Some sufferers of fatty liver disease experience side effects like liver scarring. Liver fibrosis is another name for liver scarring. Cirrhosis, a potentially fatal condition that can result in liver failure, is what you get if you have severe liver fibrosis. The liver damage brought on by cirrhosis is irreversible. It is crucial to stop it from starting in the first place because of this. Cirrhosis can result in symptoms like leg swelling, edema, abdominal pain, loss of appetite, weight loss, weakness or fatigue, nausea, itchy skin, yellow skin and eyes, easy bruising or bleeding, dark urine, pale stools, web-like clusters of blood vessels under your skin, enlarged breasts in men, and confusion. It's crucial to adhere to your doctor's recommended treatment schedule to prevent fatty liver from getting worse and leading to complications. Causes some people develop fatty liver disease completely unrelated to any other conditions. But these risk factors increase your chance of getting it being overweight or obese, having insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes. A metabolic syndrome diagnosis such as insulin resistance, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and high triglyceride levels, taking some prescription drugs like tamoxifen, amiodarone, diltiazin, or steroids. The presence of high levels of fat in a person's blood such as elevated cholesterol and triglyceride levels can also be a factor in the development of fatty liver disease in that person. If the level of triglycerides in a person's blood is greater than 150 to 199 milligrams per deciliter, then the level is considered to be too high by medical professionals. Infection with hepatitis C, experience a rapid loss of weight, and taking certain medications such as diltiazem and glucocorticoids are all examples of less common causes of fatty liver disease. Alcoholic fatty liver disease is brought on by drinking an excessive amount of alcohol. Alcohol is eliminated from the body after being broken down and processed by the liver. When alcohol is broken down, harmful toxins are released into the environment. These toxins can cause liver cells to be damaged and can also cause inflammation. Treatment Altering one's way of life is an essential component of any treatment plan for fatty liver disease. Alterations to one's way of life may include avoidance of alcoholic beverages, eating a diet that is balanced out, opting for more manageable serving sizes, and doing regular exercise. At the moment, there is no medication available to treat non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. However, depending on the stage the disease has reached, there are some people who can actually reverse it. It is possible for disease activity to be improved by gradually reducing body weight by at least 7-10%, to say trusted source. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease can be made worse by losing weight in an unhealthy manner too quickly. A well-balanced diet along with consistent physical activity is key to a safe and healthy weight loss journey. By abstaining from alcohol consumption, people who have alcoholic fatty liver disease may be able to reverse the damage and inflammation that has been caused to their livers, or at the very least, stop it from getting worse. Cirrhosis will not be cured in any way by this method. Abstaining from alcohol may be extremely challenging for certain individuals, but a physician can provide guidance on how to do so in a manner that is both secure and supported. Cirrhosis and liver failure are two potential complications that can arise from both non-alcoholic steatohepatitis and alcoholic fatty liver disease. At this point, treatment options include both medication and surgical intervention. Liver failure may require a liver transplant. What do you think of our video? Please let us know in the comments area below. If you enjoyed this video and would want to hear from me again, please subscribe and turn on the notifications before leaving. Thank you for watching us.